Hey, what's going on guys? So my name is Ipe. I make seven figures on the internet by ranking websites in Google, generating leads for small businesses. Now today I want to take a look at, you know, the side hustle called Craigslist middleman. I'm always looking at different side hustles. So there's a video. I haven't seen this full video yet. So, um, you know, the reason why this caught my attention is what we do is sort of like a, you know, what we do is essentially being a middleman as well. And we have a program, we have 7,000 students, but anyway, what we teach is we teach them how to rank a website at the top of Google search engine for local services, like your plumber, tree care companies, landscapers, and we generate the lead. So we generate the customer by ranking a website at the top of the search engine. And then we will, send that lead to a local service provider or a local company and then they pay us. So we're kind of essentially being the middleman between people that need a tow towing company. We generate the lead and then the tow towing company pays us. So we're a smack dab in the middle. And, and essentially like it's, it's a great business model because, you know, if you want a easy business to get into, one of the ways is to be a middleman on identifying where money is exchanging hands, where money is moving from buyer to seller, and then try to place yourself in the middleman. So Craigslist middleman caught my attention. So let's take a look and, and um, give you guys my feedback as I watch this video. Up and I was going to university. So this is something you can do as soon as tomorrow if you implement my strategy. I've designed this strategy in This is the ultimate side gig. It's called the Craigslist Middleman Strategy. Craigslist Middleman. Craigslist Middleman. The Craigslist Middleman. My name's Joe and I'm from Austin, Texas and I've been trying out side hustles my whole life. I've done literally everything from Amazon to YouTube to drop shipping. I've tried it all and nothing was working until I decided to roll up my sleeves and create a side hustle that made me $10,347 and only three hours of work. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I made that happen. I'm gonna reveal everything and not hide anything from you guys. Let's get into this video. Today, you're gonna learn exactly how I did this side gig to make six figures. And this is when I had no time and I was busier than ever. $10,000 in three hours. I mean, okay, that sounds impressive, but a lot of times people talk about they made 10,000, but it's not net profit. You know, it's, it's what they generated, but made, you know, the profit margin was like 20%. So I want to know the profit and the take home money. I had a nine to five job and I was going to university. So this is something you can do as soon as tomorrow. If you implement my strategy, I've designed this strategy in a way that even a 10 year old with a laptop can start making money doing this. So just pay attention and watch this to the end. It's not even that long deal. All right, let's dive in. I call this the Craigslist middleman strategy. Have you heard of it? Well, probably not. That's because this is the latest strategy in the market and almost nobody's doing it. That means there's no saturation and this whole opportunity shouldn't be taken for granted. All right, so let's unveil the curtain. I used just three applications to make six figures. Actually, $125,550 in the last year to be exact. All I did was use PayPal, Craigslist, and Fiverr. These three applications made me six figures. To give you perspective, I made $4,500 just in the past week. This is all while I had an extremely busy schedule going to work and- So I believe what he's, what he's doing is posting gigs on Craigslist and when somebody buys the gig from Craigslist from him probably uses then PayPal PayPal to receive the payment then he takes their money and goes to Fiverr and hires Fiverr gig to fulfill that order and being the middleman so you know you know you can't have that high of a profit margin there because Fiverr already is, you know, charges. I don't know. We'll see. And going to university full time without taking any extra time out of my day. I just facilitated a few design deals by being the middleman. I promise this will make sense by the end of the video. I'm going to break it down and show you exactly how I did it. So take notes if you have to. So let's start with the first one. Fiverr is a marketplace of overseas designers that can quite literally do anything from websites to logos to apps. I'm talking about anything design related. These people on Fiverr are tremendously talented. 
They get things done on time and have more professional work than some workers in the United States. They're seriously amazing. So where am I going with this and why do you need to know? On Fiverr, the cool thing is that these designers are from India, Pakistan, Indonesia, and a bunch of other foreign countries. And what do we know about these foreign countries? It's that the US dollar goes a long way over there. All right, for example, if a fancy dinner in the United States costs $50, it'll cost up to $5 there. The labor in these countries are 10% of what it is in the US. Just by this concept, by using Fiverr and these overseas designers, I was able to make $7,413 in these past two weeks. So if you're wondering if it's possible to leverage this, then keep watching, because you'll get goosebumps after I show you. Now let me give you a rundown of what's possible and how I was able to leverage this. On Fiverr, these design gigs cost next to nothing, which means a 10-page website that you can charge up to $2,500 for here in the United States will only cost you $150 to $250 for overseas labor on Fiverr. Same thing with logos. You can charge up to $500 and it'll only cost you 25 bucks in labor. You're taking home around 90% profits and I've made it easy for you to get customers. Now your next question is, where do I get these customers? Where do I find these people that want a website? Now this is where Craigslist comes in. If you're this is, yeah, I, this is why I use, uh, we use, we teach our students to use virtual assistants and also Fiverr as well. Uh, you know, I have virtual assistants from the Philippines that I hired for like, you know, five to $7 an hour. And they do a lot, most of my, a lot of parts, a lot of parts of my business. And it's, you know, it's way cheaper than hiring American people, right? I still have American people that I've hired for certain positions in the company. But yeah, I mean, this is another great, amazing thing about running an internet business is that you get to leverage global, the global workforce. And especially when you hire people from places like India or Philippines, you can hire them for much, much cheaper per hour, giving you another form of leverage, you know, leverage of human capital. And if you access global mar human capital, because the internet connects us instantaneously globally, you have such an unfair advantage compared to a regular brick and mortar business. Again, why internet having an internet business is why everybody should try to start an internet business today. There's so many other reasons, but that's actually one of the big ones. If you're not familiar with Craigslist, it's a website where you can post services locally. But what I'm about to show you is some secret sauce and how I started posting everywhere. I create formula in my strategy that when you post my ads on Craigslist, your phone will start ringing left and right with clients. Here's some screenshots of my customers calling me for my posting strategy. Just to give you a little insight on how I do it, I use Craigslist to post in the service section across cities I don't even live in. Actually, multiple cities in the US, more like 20 plus cities. <clears throat> By the way, I have a list of the top cities in my strategy, so stick around to the end. When you post in multiple cities, your Craigslist listing will get 10 times the eyeballs than if it were generated locally, thus generating more traction and possibilities for clients to contact you. I then speak <coughs> to these individuals that see my ad on Craigslist for a website or logo design. Once I have a client, I close the client at thousands of dollars for these high ticket design jobs like logo or website design. Once I have the money in my account from the customer, I then go to Fiverr and purchase the order for 50 to $100. They literally do all the labor for the design job. While the designer on Fiverr is doing all the work, I go to my current job, take classes and enjoy my week. And finally, when the designer on Fiverr is finished with the product, I send it back to my clients. That's why it's called the Craigslist middleman strategy. Pretty cool, right? I'll break it down even further and show you a real life example. I'm gonna show you how I made that $7,413 that I showed you from my account right now. Recently, one of the gigs that I advertised was a website design gig. I simply implemented my ad and posting strategy in a Craigslist ad in the service section for cities everywhere. During the week, the ad got calls left and right from customers. I talked to them on the phone, but you can email them if you're busy. They wanted websites and reached out to me because of my Craigslist ad. One of the guys who called me, his name was Michael. Michael and I agreed to a price of $2,500 for a 10 page website. I collected the payment first on PayPal. If this kid had lead generation skills like we do, like you could actually turn this into so much more like a lucrative business because you can turn that website deal into a ongoing recurring monthly income um i like what this kid's doing though it's still you know fast money like you get these gigs you can sell these gigs have fiverr fulfill it um the only thing that's missing is turning these turning a client into a recurring income which is what local lead generation what we're really good at we can turn one client and, and make sure that client keeps paying us otherwise to get continue to get leads from us so that's why local lead generation is much more of a scalable business this is not as scalable because it's like once you do the gig then you have to go find a new customer and also the challenge is going to be when you have all these other students that are also using his strategies to post on craigslist you're going to deal with saturation the more students that do this uh craigslist middleman and with saturation comes lowering of price, which means you make less money per customer per gig, which means you have to work more for less money over time. 
So that, that's still an issue uh, in many other businesses, but when it's gig driven, particularly dr gig driven businesses, um, but still, I like the I like uh, the sh I like the strategy so far because it allows anyone to get into some get into this business and start making money. Because again, being a middleman is a is a really powerful way to to earn money um, because you're not bogged down of actually fulfilling the order, right? And found dozens of people that can get it done for one hundred and seventy five dollars. We agreed on a delivery date, and then I let Michael know how long it'd take. I sat back, relaxed, and delivered the website in five days. I went along with my regular schedule while the designer was completing everything. During this time of waiting, I closed three logo design clients, three more one thousand dollar websites, and a whiteboard cartoon video for five hundred bucks. All while these individuals overseas are getting it done. For Again, he sold logo design or web design for a thousand bucks, but as more people do this, more competitors enter this space and start doing this you know, how long term is it? Can you charge that amount for logo design? You know, um, more people can find out about Fiverr too. So there, there's issues with this model that I, that are concerns for whether this business is actually long term or not, you know, for 10% of my price, which is from my ad, I made a total of $3,750 plus the $2,500 from Michael, a total of $6,250 that week, and spent just $625 in overseas labor. And I took home $5,625, all for being the middleman and sending this work to my overseas designers. The great thing is you have access to multiple designers. You can stack dozens of jobs. There's no limit on how much money you can make since you could outsource the labor. There are hundreds of thousands of people that are looking for logos, websites, and other digital services on Craigslist. Unlike other things, this is low risk and high reward. You can always close people when you get back home from work. There's what I would do is I would essentially use this as a prospecting strategy of finding different clients out there that are needing logo design or web design. And I would ultimately turn them into a lead gen client because I don't want to be in a business where I have to continually get new customers and continually pitch to new customers and continually having to close new customers. I want to grab, I want to grab a client and I want to turn I want to make sure he keeps paying me month after month, which is what lead generation does. Because especially when you're first starting out, like you want to quit your nine to five job, right? And you want to be able to quit that safely and with a peace of mind. If you're constantly having to get gigs, you're still more of like a, like a worker versus uh, a business owner a business owner can leave the business and, and still continue to make money with this you there's still a lot of ongoing work involved with local legion you can set up websites and rank it and continue to get recurring income so if you need to quit your job and you need to make 5k a month you can get like six seven clients to get to 5k a month and then you can kind of it kind of gives you a, a, some breathing room because that that those seven clients will continue to pay you month after month there's nothing holding you back from this. And number four, like literally nobody's doing this. This market's not saturated at all. You can start doing this tomorrow and start making money. In well, no, nobody's doing this until he made it into a coaching program. Now he's got probably hundreds of people doing this. Total, I was that, that's going to be the, one of the biggest issues in this business model, in my opinion. Leveraging these designers so well, I was only spending 15 minutes sometimes. So, I mean, come on, it's not that big of a deal. It was honestly so easy and worked within my schedule. I just got back to people when I was free and you can literally make up to six figures doing this. Just driving to work in the morning and responding to people when you get off. So let's recap. Step one, post an ad on Craigslist for website design and logo design services. I spent years perfecting this and it goes crazy. You can get this in my strategy. Step two, get calls like crazy with my posting strategy. With my strategy- Another concern is Website design and logo design. Um, it'd be, yeah, I don't know. With with AI and with Wix and Weebly and all these different tools, like the though those w w logo and website design is becoming more and more of like things that people can easily learn to do on your own. And with there's certain AI tools coming out where. You can, they can spin up websites like that. I mean, we have an AI tool that allows you to create business or websites like really fast. So uh, again, that's, that, that could be an issue in the future. My ad attracts customers that will reach out to you that want design services between $500 and $3,500. Step three, close a client and collect payment. I show you how to do this professionally with simplicity and ease with my strategy. Step four, outsource to an overseas designer on Fiverr for 10% of the cost and keep 90% of the profits. Step five, 
Deliver your project to the customer once the designer has completed it. And repeat this whole entire process to make six figures. Make this side gig your potential main gig, like I did. I'm an open book. I've showed you exactly how to do this. But if you want to get my exact strategy and learn how to make this your side gig in a literal step-by-step -step guide, it's so easy, guys. And so much fun. You can get the exact ad that I use to get these high-ticket design projects, my top designers, how to talk to customers, how I price design gigs, how to scale this and make big bucks. You'll literally get everything you need to start doing this tomorrow. There's one catch to this, and one catch only. I keep my strategy and blueprint really close to me. I've spent way too much time to give it away to too many people. So currently, I only accept 10 people into the program monthly to keep it exclusive. If you're still seeing this page, that means there may be some spots available. If not, there will be a waiting list. If you want to grab it, feel free. You'll have everything you need, like literally everything from A to Z, and join the army of people who started making money with this already. I've had people who've implemented my strategy and have made their money back the day they've implemented it. I've even had quite a few hit six figures already. And to put my money where my mouth is and to earn your trust, for those that were able to purchase a spot today, I'm extending a money back guarantee to the 10 spots that joined today. I've actually never done this guarantee before. I'm gonna give you the boldest guarantee in the world. Check this out. If you're able to grab a spot and implement everything that I teach you and you're not making $8,000 and $9,000 a month, I'll refund you every penny and cut you a check of the cost of the program on top of your refund for wasting your time. Zero risk to you. This is how confident I am about my strategy. Inside, you'll have everything you need from A to Z. It's as simple as copy and paste. But like I said, there's only 10 spots left. So click the Let's Get Started button below and start this side hustle today. So I actually joined last Friday, um, June 24th, and I put my first um, few listings Monday, that, that following Monday, and boom, I had people hit me up within an hour um, asking me about logos and websites, and I was just blown away at like how quick uh, things happen. Uh, I've actually even talked to the guy. He's super nice. He answers your questions uh, uh, once you're inside the course, um, and yeah, I just felt really good about it. This guys, everything that I'm talking about. Yeah, I definitely think you can make money with this strategy. Um, we, we, we've definitely taught similar, like we call it fast money strategies uh, where t students, our students can learn to like go um, uh, outsource work to Fiverr and, and even create gigs on Fiverr to make fast money. Um, but we always look at fast money as like a short term strategy, because if you're struggling to pay bills, like you can implement these kind of strategies, go out there, hustle. This is more like a hustling kind of play work to, to make some quick cash, pay the bills if necessary. But we always um, stress to our students the importance of taking your profits, taking that fast money and turning it into more of a long term play. And that's always going to come with reinvesting your money into um, assets like income producing assets and that's how you ultimately create leveraged income and that's what's gonna allow you to create the lifestyle of freedom which is what we're all after right um, this is a good hustle but it, it still doesn't create freedom because you're constantly having to close new clients um, and uh, yeah it, I think as more people do this I think it can as unfortunately a potential to get saturated because as more people do it you're gonna get less people reaching out to you because there's more other listing from that were created by other students so instead of closing you know three clients a week it might go down to one like you know it like it even though craigslist is a big marketplace i can see it getting saturated um Whereas, you know, local lead generation, you know, there's so much more people out there that are needing leads versus web design because, you know, web design, like a lot of the different places offer web design, right? Like you can, you can Google, Hey, I need a web design or, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, your uncle or, I mean, your cousin might know how to do web design. Like a lot of people, different people know how to do web design and logo there's even companies that can spin up logos for free so you're already you're already dealing with a limited pool of customers that are looking for these services on craigslist and so i then the problem is saturation um and it, it becoming more difficult to get clients but again i think the biggest thing is like yeah i'm not here to like um, say you shouldn't do this. I mean, I think we should all have different ways to like make money on the internet, especially if you've never made money before. But I think it's also important to understand the difference between like having active income this because this, this is more like active income versus having passive income. Right. And I understand there's no such thing as passive, but 
I like to say leveraged income, which is to me, a leveraged income is like you learning a skill set that allows you to leverage media or code, which is what we do. Essentially, we build and rank websites in Google. And once you rank a website in Google, um, it stays ranking. So I have all these lead gen sites out there that are working on my behalf. So every each new website that I create and rank at the top of the search engine, I can leave it alone and it'll keep making money for me month after month. That allows me leverage, right? So I can not, I don't have to be in the business, you know? Uh, yeah, of course I'm going to hire some people to manage different clients and whatnot, but essentially my websites are out there making money for me each and every day. And I think everybody that are already dealing with web design or these clients, I think y'all should really look into lead generation SEO skills because that's going to allow you to turn some of these clients into long-term passive income, like residual income. They'll have to keep paying you month after month. And I think that's how you can really get ahead in life is to understand how to create digital assets that you own and control that allow you, allow you to make money um, without you having to work uh, on an ongoing basis. So hope you like this video. If you are interested in what we have to do, local lead generation, check it out. We have a coaching program of 7,000 students. We've been around since 2014. Um, in my opinion, it's one of the best online business models out there for anybody uh, getting started. So talk to you guys soon.